my channel. My name is Esther and this is Life as Esther. I have not filmed or put out a video for you guys in a hot second. Let's just be honest. I have not put out a video since I did our um, empty house or new house video. So bear with me. But what better way to kick things off than to do a Dollar Tree haul, which is how I started my YouTube channel. So um, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some really great finds. Um, I went to a Dollar Tree that's not really local to me. Um, I had an errand to run, so I was like, hey, while you're in the area, why not hit up this Dollar Tree because it's huge? So I did. I did it. And um, I'm really excited to share with the, all the items that I found with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some of the things that I got for Easter baskets and Technically, it's not for Brinley's Easter basket. I have junior church, so I pick up prizes for the kids. and But I put it over here in the Easter basket stuff because if you guys have teens, preteens, even toddlers, these would be really great items to put in their Easter baskets. So let's go ahead and jump into that. The first thing is this really cute, is it like a, it's a notebook. I would call it a memo book. This is what it looks like. It just has some llamas on it. However... I don't know if I should open this. I'm not gonna open it. On the inside, it's not like white paper. It's colorful paper. And they had a couple of different options for this, but I just went with this one. Um, I just thought it was cute. And again, cute Easter basket ideas if you guys have teens or preteens. I guess even a toddler too. This would be really fun and cute to put in their basket. The next two items um, are these stick on nails. And, sorry about my ring light. This is just what they look like. They've got cute little designs on them. Oh no, the unicorn's broken. It's fine, kids don't care about the packaging. I got these for the girls, but again, if you guys have a cute little preteen in your life, these would be so cute. I put Brinley, um, I put some like frozen ones on her and she, she thought she was the coolest thing since butter. Anyway. I also grabbed this other little notebook. It's like faux leather, very like thick. Um, and it just has a unicorn on it. And um, I'll insert a clip at the end. They had a couple other options, but I just went with the unicorn. My junior church is mostly girls, as you guys will probably tell from the amount of girl stuff that I got. Um, the next thing, let's switch this up. When I saw this, I was floored that this was at the Dollar Tree and that like, let me just show you. I'm not a Star Wars fan whatsoever. This is all my hubby stuff. But oh my gosh, it comes with this like bracelet and it comes with an action figure. It's the Han Solo action figure. This is Star Wars, guys. This is Disney. This is, and like the, you see my head? You see how big this packaging is? It's huge. So I grabbed four of these. Um, I'm hoping this Sunday I have some boys because I really want, I'm going to be like, open this, like show me what's inside because wow, I just could not, I couldn't believe it for a dollar. So grab those and then I've seen cars clearly at the Dollar Tree, um, the Hot Wheels and then they have like another brand I believe, but I found these and one is a police station and one is a fire station and they have like the fire truck up here got like a closed sign and then they have the fire department down here and then the police department has the police car with another like safety thing and then the police department down here oh and it has a stop sign all these have signs too oh my gosh so there's what there's five little items in here for a dollar um i feel like little boys would have a great time with this brinley wanted to one um, but I distracted her with something else. So I'm really excited to see if the boys will like these. But again, guys, these are really cute ideas for Easter baskets. Um, the next thing, I said, um, <sighs> the next thing is a basketball hoop. I haven't seen any of these at my Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys have or if it's just the bigger ones, but they have basketball hoops. Um, these aren't basketballs. They're like the ball pin balls. So, I don't know, but I figured 
a little boy would like this in his room or I don't know wherever boys keep this type of stuff so I grabbed those or just grabbed one of those and I've seen this item before I've actually purchased it a couple of times but I just love this little thing Brinley loved hers until she broke it um, but I grabbed one of these just because I feel like these are such a good toddler thing um, and I recommend it I've used it I like it uh, but yeah I grabbed that the next couple things are socks but preteens I feel like I don't know when I was a preteen I know it's a lot different now um, I was into like weird colorful socks and they never matched I said life's too short to match your socks and now I just buy black socks so they always match but I grabbed these really long um, like knee length socks I'll turn them this way so you guys can see the actual pattern um, these have like pink bumblebees and this is a brand that I have never seen at the Dollar Tree before um, and these are thick socks guys like they're not like thin they're very thick and they seem really high quality so I'm I was very surprised to find those and then I grabbed I think they're called dash hounds wiener dogs I don't know but I grabbed some of these oh, this light is so freaking bright there we go um, and I thought that these were really cute with the neon green again by the same brand um, and then this is like the Dollar Tree brand and I thought that these were really cute with the bunny ears at the top um, so I grabbed a pack of those and then that's not gonna go over here let's see oh I found these um, in the uh, rest not the restroom well I guess the restroom supplies or where they keep the soap and toothpaste and stuff on the end cap and I was so surprised oh my gosh so there are these cute little toothbrushes they're called poppin toothbrush extending toothbrush handle fun character head with a toothbrush cap and this one's like a little elephant and then I got the cow and then I got the frog I got this one for uh, my niece I have to give it to my dad so he can bring it to her but uh, she loves frogs so I had to get this one but they also had I want to say a tiger and another one but these are the three that I picked out and Brinley care like Brinley held on to these the entire trip that I was at Dollar Tree so um, really cute ideas I know toothbrushes are like so lame but I try and make them fun um, so that she is interested in brushing her teeth and I feel like this is the perfect way to like get your kids interested in brushing their teeth and then while we're on the toothbrush subject I found a Jojo Siwa toothbrush and uh, cup and then what's this thing I forget what this is a brush cap oh so you can put your toothbrush in there but it's Jojo freaking Siwa I hope I say her name right I think it's Siwa River if you're watching this is a Jojo Siwa yeah okay well this is your toothbrush just letting you know um they also had Barbie and Hot Wheels and I think a Mickey Mouse I'm not really sure but this is a name brand guys so I was really surprised to see this it's by Nickelodeon so I grabbed that. Um, the last thing, I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys have, but they are just the plastic Disney princess utensils. I picked up just one. Um, this is for Brinley. I don't think that I'll put it in her Easter basket, but I mean, if you have maybe not an infant, but going into toddler, I guess, like that nine, 10 month range, um, and they really aren't, they're not eating candy they're not really into basketball hoops and Hot Wheels I feel like this is kind of like a cute thing to put in the background and it's Disney so I grabbed that um, the last two items I I've, I've seen these before but I just picked them up um, and I, ugh, I keep saying um guys I picked these up for the boys at my church however I have seen these before I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree. I saw them last year at the, the same Dollar Tree when I went there like a year ago. Um, but I figured I would pick these up and let the boys put them together. I know I had one of these and I thought it was the coolest thing. Um, so I grabbed them. And then a couple of 
other things that I grabbed. I have seen these at my Dollar Tree, but I just decided to bite the bullet and buy them here. I grabbed these jumbo, this jumbo Easter egg, Easter egg, what am I trying to say? Easter egg bunny. That's what I'm trying to say. Easter egg bunny. And this one has like the, the face on it. However, the other one on the back side, I guess I could open it for you guys, is just plain. So if you are like a crafter, this would be a really cute idea to maybe like put on like a wood backing and then like cover it with moss or spray paint it green and then cover it with moss so it blends in. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to use this for my daughter um, to put some cute things in here for her. I'm just excited. The, Christmas was really fun this year and I can't wait for Easter. She's getting to that stage where she knows what's going on and it makes me happy. I'm just excited. I'm more excited than she is, I think. I don't think she realized Easter is coming, but mom does and I'm excited. So I also grabbed these cute little Easter bunny eggs as well. I figured I could put these in her Easter basket. We have a lot of eggs already um, that we're gonna fill and put out in our yard. And so I figured these would be really cute just to put in her basket. And honestly, she'll probably play with these more than she will with the items that are inside of it. So just being honest here. Um, okay, so that's everything for the Easter baskets. The next thing, I have not seen this at my Dollar Tree, is these really cute bunnies. And I guess that's not a really good way to put it. But I don't know if you can hear that or see that. It's weighted. Oh, see, he's standing up all on his own. Um, I picked this up. Well, Brindley picked this up, and then I was like, "Oh, what is this?" And I started looking at it, and I'm like, "This is decor, girl. Good eye." So I'm really excited to use this. Um, I think I'll put it in front of our TV stand, just so I like to keep, I guess, non-important, not so fragile items where she can see them and where she can touch them and just enjoy the decor with me. So I gra I try and grab a stuffed animal or something that's the with the holiday coordinating and everything like that. We'll just leave him there. So she picked that out, but I'm gonna be using it. The next items that I picked up were these three picks and they are just the lavender with, um, guys, I'm not a plant person, so these leaves. <laughs> I have no idea what they are. Let's see, just says greenery bouquet. Okay, that didn't tell me anything. But I picked up three of these and they are gorgeous, guys. These actually remind me of the ones that I picked up from Walmart. Um, Walmarts are really inexpensive too. So if you can't find them, Walmart usually has these and they are like, I think $1.50, $1.98 a pick which is not that bad. Um, these are definitely very full and they have that frosted look. So I feel like the frosted just makes it look a little more real, not so not real. But I picked up three of these and look how cute, like I'm just so happy for spring. They're just so beautiful. The next item or items are these uh, utensils and they have a bamboo base. I have not seen these at the Dollar Tree. These were the only two there, and I picked them up because you can never have too many utensils, and they're just, they're really nice quality, you guys, honestly. Silicone and bamboo solid spoon. Great quality, so if you guys are looking for inexpensive home stuff, don't knock the Dollar Tree, like, I would check there first. Okay, the next items, um, Honestly, there's no rhyme or reason, so we're just going to jump in. I've seen candles at the Dollar Tree. My favorites are the little mason jars. I've used them as bridal shower gifts, and I've also used them as baby shower gifts. Highly recommend them. However, I have never, never seen candles this big at Dollar Tree. They are huge. Let's see what the weight is. Let's see. This one doesn't have the tag in it. They are seven ounces. That is huge for Dollar Tree. They smell good. This one's, they're not like, I don't like overwhelming scents, especially like the, the florals at all. I'm not a big floral person. I'm more of like the vanilla and like cinnamon cookie or something like that. I like those types. This one is called, what's it called? 
doesn't scent beams. I'll just show you the little label. It just says, enjoy the brilliance, brilliance of this gorgeous fragrance blend, uniquely designed to add radiance to any space. High fragrance soy blend. That's all it gives me. I don't know what soy smells like. It's, it reminds me of my Aunt Penny's house. I don't think it's like a citrus, it's got a hint of citrus, but it's not overwhelming. Like I have to like stick my whole face in here. It smells really good. Um, but I will let you guys know. Well, I probably won't. I haven't been on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think because I'm excited to use these. Definitely excited to use them. And they're, they're huge. Oh my gosh. When I saw them, I couldn't believe it. And there were so many and they were on the very bottom shelf. And I was like, oh, Dollar Tree tried to hide these. I will dig. I will dig. Okay. The next items are kind of beauty related. I would not have picked this up had I not heard my cousin talking or sh demonstrating one of these. She bought one. I think she got it off of Amazon for uh, my cousin, which is her niece. And I was like, what? That's so cool. Because Brinley's hair is so long. I'm trying to like get different hairstyles and I don't braid. This, this is this is me, okay? I'm a hat, put it in some sloppy stuff here and that's it. So I'm trying, I'm trying. But I found this and I couldn't believe it because it's almost identical to the thing that my cousin got off Amazon. I don't know how much she paid for it, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a dollar. So I picked this up, I'm really excited. Probably should have grabbed more to be honest probably should have grabbed more it's by the brand available I think it's called Beach Waver Co Beach Waver Co and it come I got the brown because my daughter's hair but it comes in black and like the nude or blonde shade low bun half up easiest bun maker yeah I'm excited to try this hopefully Brinley will sit still but I'm excited and again like you could put this in a preteens Easter basket and I feel like I would have loved something like this I probably wouldn't have used it but I would have loved it I also I don't know if these are new but I also grabbed two of these they have a velvet or what's the other material that they're called I forget but they're like that soft material I grabbed two of these this one's black and this one's navy blue you probably can't tell on screen but I grabbed two of these they it's two separate things one's a scrunchie and then the other one's like a clip-in bow I grabbed these for the girls at the church and then along with the beauty stuff I have picked up the Tony eyelashes um, I don't know if any of you guys have tried them I have not put them on because I've been looking for lash glue and for some reason during the pandemic everybody decided to start doing lashes because that's why I was there. I was going to try and start doing lashes. I mean if they looked horrible I wasn't going anywhere. So but there hasn't been any lash glue at my Walmarts and I've been to like three different Walmarts. No lash glue. Went on Amazon and it's like double the price for the duo lash glue. I don't need them that badly. I don't like them wear them every day. So. I saw, oh, what's her name? I don't know what her name is. She's a really big YouTuber. She does Dollar Tree hauls. But she showed that Dollar Tree has the Tony brand, but for lash glue. So I'm really excited to try this. This is a hundred, blah, blah, blah. It is 100% vegan and it comes in this really cute packaging. Every time I see the Tony lashes, I'm just so surprised that they are at the Dollar Tree. They look so real. They look beautiful. They had two options to, when I went here, um, but they were like really bold. I could not be that bold. Um, product, like, what am I trying to say? Good for you if you can. I cannot. I bought the like more natural ones. Oh, last year I have yet to wear them because like I said no lash glue so I'm gonna try these if I have time I will try and insert a clip of what they look like and how the lash glue works so I grabbed those and then this is by Beauty Guru and it's natural eyelash enhanced serum with castor oil and it comes with a little brush castor oil 
I know works for your eyelashes. It works wonders. So I figured I'd pick this up and try it out. It's 100% natural, it says. I've never seen this one before. I have picked up the like roll-on essential oils by this brand, but they also had like an under eye serum. I probably should have got that because this mama's got some dark circles, but you know. But I grabbed this one to try out. I'm really excited to see how it works. So I grabbed that. The next things are gonna be like crafter related. I have not seen anybody haul this. Let me know if I'm like late to the party, but oh my Lord. It is a metal sign. I guess that doesn't really tell you anything. It's plain on the black, on the back, but I got this in the crafter's corner or crafter's square, I think is what it's called there. Um, and I, I couldn't pass it up, you guys. I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. The only other thing that I can think or what I was thinking in the store is making individual like little wreaths and putting magnets on the back and just changing it out every season and maybe putting this on um, just a wall, the wall for decor or on my cabinets or something. But I couldn't pass it up. I'm like, if I don't take this, I will never see it again. And somebody will come out with a craft and I'll be like, why didn't I grab that? So I picked one up. The other things I picked up, I've seen at the Dollar Tree. However, my husband is starting a t-shirt business and he's slowly accumulating stuff to like, sorry, to start that up. So I picked up a couple of things for him. This is in the makeup section. It's just supposed to hold your nail polish. However, I saw a couple of YouTubers have these and when they are using like these tools, they like swipe it in there to get the ex excess stickers off. So I picked that up for him and then I also grabbed this from the crafter's corner or crafter's square. It's an embossing tool, embossing tool. And then the other one, oh no, the staple stuck to my pants. Okay, the other one is piercing and scoring tool set. And this is just to help like peel up the stickers. So I grabbed those for him, kind of for me, that's why it's all in pink. Cause you know your girl's gonna be using the Cricut. <laughs> and then the next things that I got are like outside related and kind of summer related. I'm so ready for summer, you guys. I'm so ready. I grabbed a water nozzle, water hose spray nozzle. I should know this stuff, guys. My new position is a maintenance administrator and I had to buy one of these. It's a spray nozzle. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. It does change the water flow type. So I grabbed one of those. I'm excited to see how this works. Um, Honestly, if it's junk, it was a dollar, so I don't feel so bad. But I feel like it's, it's like, it feels like the one I just bought for my job for the people on the floor. So I'm kind of excited. Pretty excited about that. The next thing that I grabbed are out of the crafter's corner, but I'm going to use them for summer camping stuff. And it's these clips. I have yet to see a Dollar Tree that carries the... Um, what are they called? The tablecloth clips for when you're at like a picnic. So I grabbed these to kind of do the job for me temporarily. So I grabbed two sets of those, you know, to clamp down on all sides. But I'm excited for these. The next thing, I grabbed a beach ball. I don't know why I put this. This is kind of an every place thing. But I did find the drink holders. These are so cute. This one's like a palm tree and then this one's a unicorn. They're so adorable. They are, how big are you guys? Nine and a half inches. That's pretty cool. So I'm really excited to use these. I'll probably bring these over to my cousin Miranda's house and we'll let our drinks float around or put sippy cups in. We're both moms. She's got two toddlers, I've got one. I'll be like, here, drink your juice. So I grabbed those and then this, next to the candles, this is my favorite, like, these are my favorite, okay? I know it's going to be odd, they're combs, but guys, they are humongous! Oh my gosh, okay, I went in, like, 
I've went into several Dollar Trees. I've seen the little cones. They're they're like this tall, which is fine. I was gonna buy those. I was perfectly content with those. However, when I saw these with the reflectant at the top, and I didn't bring my tape measure in here, but I'm pretty freaking sure that these are at least a foot, maybe like a foot and a half. They're, oh my gosh, I could not leave them. So I grabbed, how many did I grab? Six, two, four, six, yep. I grabbed six of these. I grabbed these and I'm really happy. I love these. These are my favorite. These and the candles for sure are my favorite items that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I know these may not be interesting to you, but I seriously love them. I hope that um, you're able to find some of these items. If you guys are local to me, um, if you're near Kalamazoo, go to Westnage and it's the Dollar Tree beside the Hardings and the Plato's Closet. Those are the, the, that's where this Dollar Tree is that I went to and it's pretty big. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Sorry I rambled a little bit. It's been a minute. I'm trying to get back into this. How many times did I say I'm um in this video? Go ahead and count it down below because I know I said it a lot. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a like. If you guys are not yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. I would say that I post content every week, but I don't. Let's be honest. We done had a share of broken hearts, girl. And we shared them painful stories on the moonlight. I knew you were the one when I looked in your eyes. And so I told you how I felt about you when the time was right And you told me the same thing, said you never felt this way Then we became a title, oh, And we still talk forever, hate to be alone Cause you know what we came for, oh, oh We came for love, calling out each other's names, we came Alrighty guys, this is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. And thank you to all of my lovely subscribers who have been sticking it out for me. I really appreciate it and I hope I can be back soon. Bye and have a great day.